Hi all my dear students, I welcome all of you in my YouTube channel. Dear students, as you know, I have been sharing so many videos on MCQ type questions for you. In this video also, I am going to share many multiple choice questions on SYBA English General Paper which is called as G2 and its title is Advanced Study of English Language. These questions are going to be very useful for all of you. Dear students, if you are new on my YouTube channel, I request you to subscribe my channel. If you like my videos, please press like button, then share this video with your friends. So, dear students, let's start uh, with MCQ questions. The first question is, the scientific study of speech sounds is called as, the options for this question are, linguistics, phonetics, syntax and morphology. So let's see what is the correct answer of this question. So phonetics is the correct answer. The scientific study of speech sounds is called as phonetics. Next question is the organs of human body which are involved in the production of speech sounds are collectively called as the option for this question are speech area, phonology, place of articulation and the human vocal tract. So the correct answer of this question is the human vocal tract. Next question is, the smallest meaningful unit of a word is called as, options are allomorph, morpheme, phoneme and phrase. So the correct answer is morpheme. Smallest meaningful unit of a word is called as morpheme. Next question is, the scientific study of ordinary language is called as, the options are stylistics, social linguistics, linguistics and phonetics. So the correct option, correct answer of this question is, linguistics next question is m and no sounds are produced through dash dash so the options are oral cavity nasal cavity ingressive pulmonic air stream and none of the above so the correct answer is b nasal cavity next question is how many pure vowel sounds are there in english so options are 12 6 8 and 20 so the correct answer is 12 12 pure vowel sounds are there in english next question is how many diphthongs are there in how many diphthongs are there in english so options are 8 12 6 and 5 so the correct answer is 8 8 diphthongs are there in english next question is the sounds which are uh, pronounced with putting the both lips together are called as dash dash sounds. So options are dental, bilabial, alveolar, palatal. So the correct option is bilabial. When both the lips are put together and the speech sound produced at this situation that is called as bilabial. Those sounds are called as bilabial sounds. Next question is the places of organs where the sounds are produced are called as dash dash so the options are manners of articulation mediums of articulation places of articulation and none of the above so the correct answer is places of articulation next question is sounds of speech are represented with dash dash in writing so the options are alphabets pages books ink correct option is alphabets sounds of speech sounds Speech sounds are represented with alphabets in writing. Which of the following words has one morpheme? Here is spelling mistake. Morphemes is given there, but one morpheme. So options are uncle, unable, lucky, optional. So correct option is uncle. In uncle, un is not used as prefix. But in next word that is unable, un used is used as a morpheme which is actually which is bound morpheme and it is used here as a prefix then in word lucky and optional there are two morphemes option optional luck lucky so in uncle there is only one morpheme and that is the root word next question is the words which do not take stress in pronunciation are called as dash dash. So options are strong forms, weak forms, syllables, allomorphs, 
so the correct option is wig forms next question is which of the following words has a prefix so options are uncle understand unnecessary necessary so prefix in this words uncle and understand in these two words un is not used as prefix in the word necessary there is no prefix but in the word unnecessary un is used as a prefix so the correct answer is unnecessary next question is the morpheme which has an independent meaning and can stand by itself is called as dialect so options are bound morpheme free morpheme lexical morpheme and functional morpheme so the correct answer is free morpheme next question is the morpheme which does not have an independent meaning and cannot stand by itself is called as free morpheme bound morpheme lexical morpheme and functional morpheme so the correct answer is bound morpheme next question is when an affix is added before the root word is called as dash dash so here is also typing mistakes sorry for that root word that is root word okay so what is what it is called so options are suffix prefix morpheme and phoneme so the correct option is prefix when an affix is added before the root word that is called as prefix next question is when an affix is added after the root word it is called as dash dash so options are morpheme prefix suffix phoneme so correct option is suffix next question is identify the word formation process used for the formation of the word oxbridge options are clipping acronym blending compounding so the correct option is blending next question is identify the word formation process used for the formation of the word exam so acronym clipping blending compounding so correct answer is clipping next question is when the pitch of tone varies in pronunciation is called as word stress sentence stress intonation tone so the correct answer is intonation next question is which type of intonation pattern is used for statement so the correct option is falling tone which type of intonation pattern is used for questions so correct option is rising tone then next question is words which are pronounced in similar way are called as homonyms synonyms homophones none of the above so correct option is homophones next question is identify the syllable structure of the word exam so its uh, structure is exam so that's why uh, vowel consonant consonant vowel consonant so the first one v c c v c is the correct syllable structure of exam identify the syllable structure of the word took so c v c took so c v c means consonant vowel consonant this is the correct syllable structure of this word so dear students uh, these are the mcq questions i hope all these questions would be very useful for you so thank you all students bye bye